Hello everyone and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Now in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to implement a weapon system in which the player, when he shoots a projectile and it hits an enemy, that enemy will take a certain amount of damage. So now, what you want to do is you want to just open up a brand new Unreal Engine 4 project. Uh, I'm doing this in Unreal Engine 4.25.3. So quickly just open up a first person template. Uh, you can name this whatever you and want. I'm just going to go to my desktop. Uh, let's enable it with starter content. So now that we're in the project, what we want to do is we want to actually get an output from each projectile hitting a certain enemy. Now, what we could do uh, to quickly create a, an enemy, we can just create a simple actor, and let's just call this enemy test. Now that we are here, we can actually create a blueprint interface. So we can go down here and blueprint interface, and let's just call this enemy damage interface. Let's actually create a function called hit enemy and let's save that. Now under the enemy test we can actually go to class settings and add the interface enemy damage interface here we go and let's quickly add a static mesh to show that uh, there's a certain enemy. So now for this mesh, let's add a capsule maybe. Actually, let's do a let's just do the basic cube with the chamfered edges and let's go for this wider material. We can simulate physics and do whatever like this, but that is actually not the important stuff. Let's drag this up here to make it the root and let's implement this hit enemy function. So first we need a few different variables health being one of them and let's set this to public and make it a float and let's do health max or max health once again we can this one doesn't have to be set to public um, but let's set both values so let's make this one 100 and the current health to 100 also so now once we implement this function right here we can actually set an input so let's put the input to damage let's set this to a float we could also put it as an integer but if we want more specific weapons let's leave it as a float and what we can do is member to get our current health and then we could subtract this float value so we could do let's actually do this sorry let's subtract the the damage from our health and let's set this to our current health value. Now what we want to do is we want to do a branch and this will basically check if our uh, health is below or equal to zero. Now if this value is true we can print a string and this string let's say would say uh, enemy killed and let's set this to red. You don't have to set the color but let's just do it uh, really quickly. And then we can make another print string and let's change this to enemies. Oh wait, let's set this to enemies. Oh, let's actually do this. Let's set it to print the current health of the enemy. So let's drag this down there like this so now what we need to do is we actually need to call this interface depending on whether the projectile hits an enemy or a different actor so if it hits this we don't want to call it and if we hit the enemy well of course we do want to call it so what we can do is we can um, do a sequence actually if we want to continue with keeping that the current projectile interface so let's actually let's actually collapse nodes because we know what this one does and let's just do add physics to object there we go um, so that's just adding the physics to the object uh, I'm not gonna worry about these that's not the focus of the video but here we go so now um, on enemy hit what do we need to do we need to get the uh, that we hit. Um, so let's actually do 
does implement interface. So now we need to select the interface. So let's select enemy damage interface. So if this is true, we want to actually call this interface. So our our event was hit enemy, so hit enemy, and we want to do the damage. Now we can do the damage based off of the current velocity, but let's just set a um, the variable here. So now we can make this public, so if we want to change it in, on spawn or something, we can select that right there. So we first need a target, and our target would be the here, our actor that we are hitting and then we can drag this into here. So we want our damage to be, let's say, 10. It's a, it's a good number for this uh, projectile. So now if we click play, we can shoot these other objects. Remember, nothing is happening because it does not implement that interface, but if we shoot uh, our cube right here, it should actually be printing to screen. So let's just make sure. Let's also do a print string. Here is the issue this actor sorry for the issue this actor has to select not the component uh, of the interface so let's try that again shoot regular objects but then when we shoot our cube notice that its health has been set to 90 80 and then actually if we kill this cube you can hit it a bunch of times and it doesn't fly out of the edge so let's actually disable this right there if we hit the cube a bunch of times right like this if I hit it one more time the enemy is killed. So now we will actually want to despawn the enemy or delete the enemy uh, when it dies. So we could do a simple destroy destroy actor right here. So it will destroy the actor um, just like that. So now if we kill the enemy in here, enemy killed, the enemy has been destroyed. Now if we want uh, to do a an XP system, depending on the amount of enemies that you kill. I'll show and I'll release a video on that next time. But if you guys, if you enjoyed this video and you like fast uh, tutorials for Unreal Engine on any specific topic that you like, please leave the exact thing that you want me to make in the description. I'll gladly make a tutorial on it. But until the next one, guys, I'll see you later. And remember to stay safe. Peace.